This is an interesting event. Squeeze this bottle filled with water and the object inside sinks. Release and it floats back to the top. Let's investigate this. The object floating in the water is a pen cap. The type you find on a stick pen like this one. To turn this into a diver, we need to wrap some wire on the pen's clip so it will float with the clip hanging down. If you attempt to do this, you will have to experiment with the amount of wire needed. Next, fill a plastic sealable bottle with water. An empty soft drink bottle will do. Drop the diver into the water. It should float to the top. Replace the cap on the water bottle. Make sure the cap is sealed so that no water or air can escape. With the bottle sitting vertical, squeeze and the diver will sink. Release and the diver will float back to the top. If you're demonstrating this in a classroom, you may want to stop at this point and ask for some opinions on how this works. These divers are called Cartesian divers. And here is one non-technical explanation about how they work. If we study the Cartesian diver floating at the top, we realize the upper part of the cap is filled with air. A bubble of air experiences a significant buoyant force when immersed in water. These bubbles of air accelerate up through the water, evidence of a powerful buoyant force. We can imagine the bubble of air inside the diver has enough buoyant force to lift the diver and hold it at the top of the container. Squeezing the bottle introduces pressure throughout the water-filled container. Water is not compressible, but air is. This increased pressure compresses the air, shrinking the air bubble. As the bubble shrinks, its buoyant force drops until it is unable to support the weight of the cap and the diver descends. Release the pressure and the compressed air bubble pushes back, expelling the water, returning to its original size and buoyancy. The diver rises back to the surface. Here is another more technical explanation. Whether an object sinks or floats is determined by the object's density relative to the density of the fluid it is immersed in. Objects less dense than water float in water. Objects denser than water sink. Density is mass divided by volume. When the diver is floating, its density is less than that of water. The total volume of the diver is made up of the plastic cap, the wire, and the air bubble. Its mass is the total mass of these same three items. When pressure reduces the volume of the air bubble, the total volume of the diver decreases, meaning its density increases. Remember, density equals mass divided by volume. The mass of the diver stays the same, but we can change its volume. Reducing the volume increases density. Increasing volume reduces density. The diver sinks or floats based on its density. Archimedes' principle explains the science behind this. If you're interested in learning more, watch our videos on Archimedes and buoyancy. You will find a direct link to these videos at hyloroad.com float. I'll leave you with this variation on the same event. This is a standard eyedropper. Fill the barrel two-thirds with water. Place the dropper in a sealable bottle and you have a diver. Squeeze and it dives, release and it rises. The same principle applies. Watch the water level in the clear barrel as you squeeze and release. You can see it change in the video. For more science and technology related videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com.